Do you have a problem remembering note names or fingerings or maybe even just how to play certain rhythms? I have an app for you that is going to help with all of that and this will be useful if you are a student or a teacher. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellemoji.com and I give you tips and tricks to help you learn to play the cello for all your moments. If you are new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you'll always be notified of all the tips and tricks videos on this channel. So let's dive into it. This app that is amazing is called Ninjenius. Uh, it, this is not a sponsored video. This is definitely one that I found on my own because I definitely had some students who were struggling with reading uh, notes and rhythms and you know they're younger kids so they wanted sort of a fun way of how to train themselves to get better at doing all of this. I just thought that this app was really fun and a useful tip and what was great about this too was that uh, even teachers could use this, sort of keep track of all of their students within the app. There's definitely what they call like teacher mode so that uh, you could go in and have all your students listed. You could actually have specialized quizzes. Um, there are definitely some teachers in the review who talk about how they uh, take the iPad or phone that they have it on and they sort of put it through a projector to project on the wall so that the students can actually see and cheer each other on as they're trying to like advance in these levels of learning the music. So I'll, I'll leave a link to the app below and I encourage all of you guys to check it out. So just a few things before we dive into the app. Unfortunately this is only for Apple. Uh, I saw on their website that they said it's coming soon for Android uh, and for even laptops but for right now it's just strictly for the Apple platform. You can definitely check out their website at ninjenius.net and I'll leave that link below as well. Alright so here is the app and what it looks like and here we're getting into the game. You can uh, poke the ninja a few times to wake him up and get ready to go. And as you can see here, we list the students on the left and the play mode on the right. Uh, and you can pick instruments and modes and test or study mode and what exactly you want to test, whether it's note music, fingerings, or the rhythm. All right, so here you can actually pick instruments. Again, like I said before, you can get three free instruments here and I had picked violin and cello, though technically I'm really only testing the cello mode here, but it's nice to have that option. Alright, so let's enter a new student, which is myself. And let's get into seeing what this app really looks like when you're playing it. So we're going to test note names and let's just stick with easy mode just for demonstration's sake. Yes, hiya. Alright, so here it is. So what they do is actually just list the note on the staff and then uh, you just pick the right letter below, which is really neat. As you can see, this sort of fun animation, uh, when you get it correct, you'll see that he is able to break the wood. Let's just cut to the end and here they are just tallying up my score. Phew, that's a relief. I made it to black belt here. Okay, so now we're going to look into instructor mode. As you can see, you can actually create a password if you want just to make sure that the students uh, don't mess with any of your settings and they won't be able to see other students uh, scores They'll only be able to look at their own uh, Which is kind of nice. It just keeps it safe for everybody All right now once instructor mode is highlighted you can see that there are more options that are able to be selected such as records custom sets and instructor so when you go into the records, it'll list all your students and how they're doing on each of the tests, whether it's note name, fingering, or rhythm. And the nice thing in the upper right there, you can see the delete button, which is for if any of your students unfortunately happen to leave your class, uh, you can delete them off the roster. So that way uh, you don't have any uh, information that is just cluttering up your records. In custom sets, it's really nice because then you can pick specifically uh, what notes or what sort of set of things you want your students to learn. That way you don't have to answer any questions that aren't relevant to the time. You can name these custom sets here as well, as well as setting a timer for it. Again, the default is 40 seconds, but you can make it longer as you wish. So instructor info is just saying you put your own info in there and you set a password and 
you know, just in case if you forget your password, you can have a recovery question there. Uh, it's just nice, just added protection and really just keeping things safe from your students. So now we're going to test some fingering. First, let me show you what study mode looks like. Okay, so in study mode, what's nice is it's going to list the note on the staff as well as the letter and the finger number. So it's all in one there. On the right, you can tap to see the answer. And then when you progress to the next one, it'll just leave a note on the staff there and you can have your students guess what is the answer before they reveal the answer. Now, if I was to do the same fingering thing, but in test mode, you can see now they have the note on the staff and then they have three answers on the bottom and the student should pick the right one. And at first, I thought it was a little bit confusing to just look at the staff, the letters and the numbers this way, but technically a student is looking at you in this sort of format anyways. Uh, and so this is sort of just extra practice when they're watching you and when they are testing themselves on this game. All right, so tallying up my score here. Uh-oh, <laughs> looks like I'm going to have to practice some of my uh, fingerings there. Okay, finally, let's practice some rhythm and test some of that. What I really like about this is they're actually listing a specific note value, such as quarter notes and rests and things like that. And then they're representing it by blocks that are colored below. So if it is a note, it's going to be a colored block. If it is a rest, obviously there's going to be a space. If it is a note that is held longer, then the block will take whatever span of uh, time it needs to represent that note value. So it's a really good way of testing, uh, do the kids know exactly how the rhythm should go? Plus I like how the numbers are one, two, three, and four below because for me personally anyways, that's what I use when I teach. I say one and two and three, uh, just to sort of help the kids count. So I think this is a really fun way to incorporate everything that I do in my lesson. Okay, tallying up my score here. Hmm, looks like I'm going to have to work on my rhythm a little bit too. Only made it to brown belt here. But that's it. That's the game in Genius. Um, as you can see, it's just a fun way of incorporating all the things you want your kids to learn, which include fingerings, note names, and rhythm. There are actually a few versions of this game, but I opted for the Ningenious Music Studio version. So, you know, I have my own studio of students. It's not like I'm teaching a giant classroom of kids. So I thought that the music studio would be perfect. Um, and also, it within the app, they give you three free instruments. Uh, and then if you wanted more, you just pay a little bit more per instrument, extra instrument that you add. So since I'm only teaching one instrument, it kind of works well for me. The version that I paid for was $9.99, uh, which kind of was like the middle price range between all of the apps. Unfortunately, this is not free, but hey, it, I think it's kind of effective and is one of the more useful ones that I have been checking out. So I had a couple of my students try out this app and they really loved the animation. They thought it was really fun. Um, and also what was great about it, like I said, was that you could list each specific student by name and uh, they can keep track of their own set of scores it won't bleed into someone else's uh, progress within the game and for you yourself as a teacher you can uh, specialize all of the level testings and all of that to keep it fun for the kids and also specific to what you want them to learn and master. What I really liked about it was it was a timed event so <laughs> you won't have the kid just like begging and begging to just keep playing, keep playing, keep playing. There's a set amount of time, uh, time limit for each level and then once it's done you can just take it away and then go on to your regular lesson. Question of the day, are there music apps that you use that has helped you learn how to read music or rhythms or fingerings, uh, leave them in the comment box below. I would love to see what you guys have tried. That was my review on Ningenious. I hope that you found it helpful. Be sure to check that out. I left the link below. Hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it if you haven't already done so. Give me a thumbs up if you like using technology to help you learn how to play and read music. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!